Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you've joined me for another Forzathon guide which is where I show you guys the easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's one called the car of tomorrow wants you to own and drive any modern supercar and use that modern supercar to complete the rest of the challenges with. So first of all let's filter our cars just to show which modern supercars we have available. Now there is plenty of them in the game and if for some reason you don't have any in your garage you can also put this filter in the uh, auction house or auto show to pick out a car of your choice. Now I went for my Lamborghini Merchilago LP670 uh, but you can use whichever one you want and I also didn't create a tune for it because you don't really need one. Now the first challenge here is really easy and it just wants you to win three street scene events in your modern supercar. Now I use the Batham Gate race to complete any sort of street scene ch challenges um, as it's one that I just know really well. It's a pretty quick one regardless what car you're using. Now the good thing about this is because it's a Forzathon it means you don't have to do it on any set difficulty level with the AI driver tars. So you can do it on easy or amateur or pro, expert, whatever you want it's entirely down to yourself. As long as you win the race and you're using a modern supercar that's all that counts. So once you've completed the first one you can do two more whether it's at the same race or different street scene events it's entirely down to yourself. Just so long as you win all three of them that will get you the first challenge completed. Now the next challenge here just wants you to earn a total of 15 stars from speed zones which again is super easy. So as you can see I've filtered my map here to show the speed zones available and the one that I always use which I'm sure you guys are aware of is the forest green speed zone. Now three stars on here is a maximum of 90 mile an hour or a minimum sorry of 90 mile an hour and of course that's going to be really easy it doesn't matter what modern supercar you're going to use because it's going to be very very easy for that car. Now like I said you don't really need a tune for this most of them are very capable of staying above 90 mile an hour as you can see here. So if you get three stars on each run you only need to do a total of five runs so it will probably take about two to three minutes. Really really quick challenge and very easy to complete and like I said you can use whichever modern supercar you want it really won't make a difference uh, because the majority of them will be very very good on a speed zone like that. Now the last challenge here just wants you to earn 20 awesome speed skills. Now an awesome speed skill is in between basically 170 mile an hour to 190, 200 mile an hour. I'm sure all of you guys know how to get speed skills and what they are. Now the location I used was the highway and I figured there are really two ways of doing this. So the first way is just go all out and floor it down the highway, just getting the ultimate speed skills because of course that's slightly higher than the awesome so it will still count and you can just keep on doing that until you rack the equivalent of 20 awesome speed skills. Like I said it normally does still count them for these kinds of challenges so you can be doing well over 210 mile an hour and that will give you the ultimate speed skill that will obviously complete the challenge a bit quicker. Now if you just want to go for the awesome speed skills which I don't know who would you all just want to go flat flat out then I recommend sitting at about 180 mile an hour going down the motorway so in between fluctuating between 175 to 185 190 and you'll be hitting that sweet spot for the awesome speed skill and it is really really easy and 20 of them will not take you long at all probably five minutes tops so a nice easy final challenge there now if you're struggling with anything just let me know down below in the comments and I'll try my best to help you out if this video helped you out and you're new to the channel, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe. And if it did help you out, don't forget to drop a like as well, because that massively helps me out. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.